What was supposed to be a fresh start for a Big Island family has turned into a nightmare. We were the first to tell you last night that a family's pet dog was shot and killed by airport security. The family is now demanding answers. This is Kaeli, a two-year-old pit bull mix. The dog's owner says her family was putting luggage in the car when a security officer at Honolulu Airport told them they had to leave. The family says Kaeli was chained to a tree at the time and was shot and killed by the officer. Bridget Nomada follows up. Bridget. Joe, Alicia Ramos tells me the situation escalated fast. She believes the way it was handled was unnecessary and wrong. It feels like a nightmare that I want to wake up from. I know he's just a dog, and people who don't love dogs may think it's crazy, but it's like losing a family member. I can't sleep. I can't eat. Leisha Ramos is reeling from the loss of her pet, Kaele. It all happened so fast. That's how Ramos describes the moments leading up to the shooting. This is the area where it happened, ground level, by the drive-through check-in section of Hawaiian Airlines. Ramos, her five-month-old baby and two-year-old pit bull Kaele had just flown in from the Big Island. Kaele was chained to a tree while the family loaded their car with luggage. Ramos says a verbal argument escalated between her boyfriend and an armed Securitas employee. He told us exactly that we need to leave. And my boyfriend told him, okay, we're just loading everything. He said, no, you guys need to leave. The dog doesn't belong here. You guys need to get out now or I'll take care of, take care of it while already approaching, grabbing his gun, and walking towards us. Ramos says somehow the dog's chain broke loose during the argument, so she held on to the other end. I'm holding her, him and holding her at the same time, and then finally he just pulls, and then he's running to my, my, my boyfriend to see if my boyfriend's okay, and he gets shot. And he wasn't running aggressively. His tail was still wagging. So your dog was running towards the security guard? Towards my boyfriend, my, my boyfriend, because they're right next to each other. Stunned, Ramos says the officer then walked away. He walk, spoke into his walkie-talkie, said shots was fired, and he walked away. That's all he did. And then he just walked away, and I'm screaming, you shot my dog, you shot my dog, trying to hold his head from bleeding. But was, he died instantly. Like, I thought he got tased or something. I didn't think it was an actual handgun. Ramos tells me her questions are endless. Why was a handgun used in the first place? Why was the officer armed? For now, she is trying to heal from the painful loss. I am trying to convince myself that he didn't do it on purpose, you know. But I would like an apology because it was wrong how he handled it. That would be really nice to get an apology. Because he wasn't just an ordinary dog, he was my son. Ramos says Kaele is currently with the state sheriffs because it's an active investigation. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News.